Could you take us back to the beginning? How did you discover your passion for acting and music? So I have always wanted to do it, actually. I mean, when I was, I think it was second grade is when my mom said that I was already asking them to take me to acting classes. Uh, but I remember we used to go to the movies all the time and I was just so obsessed with doing that. So I knew I wanted to be a part of it in some way. And yeah, I just kept begging my parents because I wanted to be an actor. <laughs> yeah. Look at your career as a whole, who or what's had the biggest influence either personally or professionally? Um, I would say the biggest influence was probably my mom. My mom is such a workhorse and she 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 knows how to work. Uh, so she has been pushing me since I told her I wanted to do it. And when I told her that it's what I wanted to do, she said, all right, you have to fully commit to this. And I think she kind of taught me how to focus all of my energy into doing what I want to do. And yeah, I'm just so thankful for her. You've had a lot of success already in your young career. When you look back, is there a particular moment that stands out to you? I would say the moment that stands out to me the most is definitely when I did my first job on Hawaii Five-0, uh, because I got to you know meet all the cast and meet all the directors and see the process and see them saying action and all that kind of stuff. And I think I was obsessed with the process once I did that. And I think that was probably the moment that I decided it's what I really wanted to do. Speaking of the process, in addition to the work that you've done in front of the camera, you've also directed music videos and short films. How's your experience behind the camera made you a, a stronger actor and vice versa? Yeah, I think it's totally made me a stronger actor. I was studying film uh, before I was working as an actor. So there's so much stuff that I was able to take from it, especially when it comes to the the process of the process of the show as a big picture like start to finish like turning it from a script into something that you can watch on a screen um i think learning a lot about that was definitely super helpful when it came to acting and everything yeah got a, a new series on disney plus can you tell us about the show your character and what drew you to this project so I play Kai Kamealoha in Doogie Kamealoha MD, which is a new show streaming now on Disney Plus. We're six episodes in, uh, and it is a coming of age show based on the 90s show Doogie Hauser MD. And it is female led, and it's about a girl who's dealing with life as both a teenager and a doctor. And she kind of has to balance them both. And I play her older brother, and I'm this cool, surfer dude who kind of comes in and balances her out and she is he is the teenager to her adult doctor <laughs> yeah what was it about this project um that attracted you to it the main thing was that it was shooting in hawaii and it was based on a local family um and the family in the show it is a local dad who is uh you know asian american pacific islander and a white mom, which is the same exact dynamic that I have with my parents. That was cool. Because I've never seen a show like that. And growing up, I never had a show to watch that was like that. So it's cool that I get to be it, you know? Yeah, you know, the, the show does a fantastic job representing the Hawaiian culture on screen. What has it meant to you to be a part of a project that's pushing these inclusive storylines forward? To me, it means so much because it's where I come from and it's my home. So to, to get to tell the stories from Hawaii is really cool. And to get to teach kind of our ideas of aloha and the whole aloha spirit we get to share that with everyone else who's watching the show and they can learn a little bit about Hawaii. And there, there's so many great relationships within the show. Which was your favorite to explore in season one and why? In the series, there's a lot of really fun relationships that Kai kind of explores, but two in particular, one of them would be with his sister because they're able to kind of 
help each other in different ways. She's kind of the smarter one and he's the more mischievous. Uh, he can kind of finesse his parents and he can kind of teach her that kind of stuff. And I think that was, that was probably the most, you know, for me, it was the most interesting to shoot. And there's also a lot of stuff where Kai, uh, towards the end of the season, explores his kind of love interest. And the audience will get to watch that. There's so many great scenes uh, within the first season. Which was your favorite to film and why? My favorite scene was, there was a bunch of them, but right now I'm going to say, just because I was watching it recently, my favorite scene is the one where... Pay, uh, where Doogie, Lahela, uh, she steals her mom's car. And then while she's stealing the car, she gets a flat tire. So she needs someone to rescue her and figure out a way to not get in trouble. And that would be me. And there's a little scene there where he kind of schools her. <laughs> 